So the storage in these um, Retina MacBook Pros is also pretty interesting because they're they're SSDs and they're good quality SSDs, but they're attached by um, on the PCIe bus rather than being SATA three or uh, SATA two connected. Um, just to show you the kind of effect that has, if we have a look at um, let's have a look at the Xbench stats I've got here. What you'll see on the left is my 2011, my late 2011 MacBook Pro with a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second um, SSD in it. It's a Samsung 840, I think. And you'll see the performance stats there. Okay. Uh, and on the right, you have the performance stats from my late 2013 uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro with a 256 gig SSD on the PCIe bus. So as you can see, there's a significant jump up. Um, it's probably more uh, clear if we have a look at um, the disk speed task pictures. So for example this one here, this shows the readings from my um, late 2011 MacBook Pro. Um, pretty good stats to be honest, um, you know, can't really argue with that. But until you start to look at the performance that you get actually on the P PCIe hosted one. So let's have a look at that. Now, I should just point out that the SSD in this MacBook Pro is actually encrypted as well, um, whereas the one on my 2011 unit, unit isn't. So what we'll do is we'll just run the test and have a look at that. There you go. So if I wasn't running QuickTime and also recording my screen, those figures would be, uh, they're averaging about 630 on the right and about 700 on the read so as you can see it's significantly quicker than the SATA 3 mounted SSDs on the traditional units and um, it makes a significant difference to the performance of the machine and uh, certainly seems to make up for the fact that uh, in terms of processing power this unit doesn't compare to my quad core i7 that's in my 2011 unit.